guys, today I'm going to be recording another ranking video, it's for 1349, as some of you have may have guessed from my Instagram post of their complete discography the other day, that's always a hint. Um, they're the band that got me into black metal, so really special band to me. I have the Slaves poster up here, excuse my kind of haphazardly placed walls stuff. Also, um, I received the copies of the second album, Hagal, from Sickly Gangland, my solo project, so I'm going to give you guys a sneak preview of that. I'm not going to be playing any music, although two singles from it can be found on my channel. It can be pre-ordered from the AHPM Records, which is my label's band camp, and also the um, Sickly Gangland Big Cartel store, which are all links you can find from any of my social media. Um, so that's that out of the way, I just wanted to give you guys, because a lot of you know me from my music or have ever have since listened to it, so I just thought I'd let you guys know. First up, this um, I picked up really cheap, it, seven, uh, 90 kroner, which is £9, roughly, their self-titled four-track little EP thing, that's not part of the ranking, but that's I really like it, I think it's cool, so something to check out. I love all their albums, I always say this, but um, there's got to be one at the bottom, and for me it's Revelations of the Black Flame. It's just, it doesn't have as catchy, kind of atmospheric parts, if that makes sense to Maya. And then next up is Liberation, which have the limited edition picture disc. There's only 2,000 of these in the world, of which I bought from Toad Stripe Records here in the UK. I really like that though. Um, next up we have Hellfire, fucking awesome album, one of my favourites, but there are more that I prefer, so that's uh, Hellfire there. Next up we have the album that completed my collection, uh, Beyond the Apocalypse, which is a really cool album. Really heavy black metal sound. And then um, I'd just like to mention actually, I was lucky enough to meet 1349 the second time I saw them, they're really cool guys, um, got all their autographs, I've seen them twice, uh, got Plectrum as well that um, the guitarist gave me. So in second place we have Massive Cauldron of Chaos, the newest album, which I also have the Slaves 7 inch single, limited to 666 copies, um, I have this cassette which is limited to 100 copies, and I have it on, I think the vinyl's white, it might be black, I'm not sure, but I have the, so I have the CD cassette, 7-inch single and 12-inch LP, so i got a complete set of that. And then in first place, the album that got me into the band when I first had them in 2010, Demon War, absolutely bombastic, chaotic, evil as hell, black metal. But yeah, that was my ranking, I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, I'm going to be doing some more soon, I've got some bits and bobs at the minute coming through and I also put out an EP the other day for my Doom Metal project so be sure to check that out if you like Doom Metal. Cheers for watching guys, stay metal.